Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in 2 Chronicles chapter 30, where I came to verses 11 and 12 and read of a revival that came amongst the land of Judah under the reign of King Hezekiah. And the reason why there was revival in the land was because the people, it says there, wholeheartedly made a commitment to obey God and his word. Way back in Exodus chapter 19, verse 5, God told the Israelites that they would be more blessed of all the nations of the earth if they obeyed God and his word. And God also reminded them that disobedience was to be, as Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 11 says, always. We are always to obey God's word. We are not to pick and choose what we want to believe from God's word. Recently, I was reading a Gallup poll where it says that some 87% of Americans believe in God here in America. And I was thinking how, how blessed this nation would be if 87% of this country truly believed in God and obeying him. You see, it's not enough to say that we believe in God. I could say that I believe that my mother and father were my mother and father growing up. But that's one thing. It's another thing to obey them. See, the litmus test if we really love somebody, is we'll obey what they tell us to do. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 14, verse 15, that if we truly love him, we will obey his commands. And the Apostle John told us in 1 John 2, 3, it says that if we say we know God or love him, we will obey what he tells us to do. My friends, obedience to God is the litmus, litmus test as to whether we truly show that we're saved. Now, we're not saved by our faith. We're saved through faith. We are saved in a saving faith in Jesus Christ. We are to obey his word. John chapter 5, verse 39, Jesus, our Lord and Savior, once again said that, search the scriptures for they all testify of me. We should be obedient to the whole word of God. Not pick and choose something from Romans or the Gospel of John more than Second Chronicles. And I know sometimes going through some of these Old Testament books, it might seem boring. But as I'm going through Old Testament, book, Old Testament books right now in my personal devotional time, I'm finding nuggets of truth there that really relate to my life. The whole Word of God is to be obeyed. In Revelation, the end of the Bible... The end of time we're told in revelation chapter 14 verse 12 that those who patiently endure everything that goes on in this world will be saved and it'll be seen by their obedience and commitment to god and the opposite is said in revelation chapter 22 verses 18 and 19 where it says that anyone who takes away from the words of god they will be taken out of the lamb's book of life my friends i hope today we will truly truly have a desire to be obedient to God and his word. It is not enough to say we believe in God. In James chapter 2 verse Ch James chapter 2 verse 19, we are told that the devil and his demons believe in God and shudder. In Mark chapter 1, you could read the story of how when the demons, the evil spirits saw Jesus coming, they cried out, "O holy one of God, what will you have to do with us?" They knew who Christ was. It is not enough to say, Lord, Lord. You remember what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. Many will say, Lord, Lord, and he will not acknowledge them. He will say, depart, me, depart from me, you wicked evildoers. I have nothing to do with you. But we are to do the will of God, Jesus said there. Again, my friends, look at your life today. Examine yourself. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5 tells us, Examine yourself to see if you are the faith. Are you truly having a desire in your life to obey Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? Does he really rule over your life? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. And that faith has to be followed by obedience to what we are believing in. It's just not enough to say, I believe. As I said before, I could say I believe that my mother and father were my mother and father growing up, but disobey them. But the litmus test, if I truly love my parents, was that I will obey what they tell me to do. Feel free to share this devotional video today, my brothers and sisters. If you see it on Facebook, I'm thankful to God each and every day 
I see people share it to Christian groups, to their friends. If you see this on YouTube, underneath you will see a subscribe button. Feel free to subs subscribe as we get the word of God out together as co-laborers in Christ. And let us pray today, my friends, as I end, that we truly learn to be obedient to what God tells us to do. There are blessings with obedience. Pastor Charles Stanley always would say that. However, I remember there's another pastor by the name of John MacArthur. He would say many times in life, we have what's called Christianity light. In other words, people want to believe in God in certain things in the Bible, but not everything that God tells them to do, especially the hard things. But those that are truly saved, that truly love the Lord, will obey what the Word of God says from Genesis to Revelation. And first and foremost, we are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins. Take care this day and God bless you all.